Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to talk about my one month postpartum update. Oh, tired, but happy. I'm so tired, but I'm so happy. I'm on cloud nine. If I could wrap up this first month with a brand new baby boy, oh, just heaven. It's been heaven. But I'm very sleepy. <laughs> the first thing I want to touch on today is um, going to be TMI, you guys. So here's your warning to click off the video if you're not into the TMI stuff. Um, but bleeding. So I did stop bleeding at two weeks, and now I'm starting to bleed again. Now that I am four weeks today, I am four weeks postpartum today, which also happens to be my one month postpartum. Usually your four weeks and your one month don't land on the same day because of February and having less days in February, it landed exactly four weeks. As of today, I have been bleeding quite a bit, quite heavily, and I don't know if it's just because I've been more back into the swing of things and I misjudged my body and I thought I could start doing more than I was actually ready to start doing. I'm not quite sure. Um, I almost thought it was my period at first, but I'm breastfeeding and I'm only one month postpartum, so I don't, I don't think it's my period, but I am just keeping an eye on it for now and I'm using those penny liners that I mentioned in my last update, my one week postpartum update. So I'll make sure that I have that linked up here for you guys and down below so that you can check out that video to see what products that I have been using. Um, as far as products right now at one month postpartum, I have not been using anything. I stopped using the Dermaplast, I stopped using the Peri Bottle, everything. I stopped using everything except for the pads. Um, obviously I've still been using those, but um, as far as like taking care down there or like pain relief, I have not used anymore. All right, so the next thing I'm going to jump into is breastfeeding. So I have been breastfeeding my son for the first month. So this whole first month I've been pretty much exclusively breastfeeding. I have been trying to store up a little bit of milk in the freezer um, just so that I have a stash if I go out in public or, or when he starts daycare here in a month because I will be returning back from maternity leave at eight weeks postpartum um, when Riker is eight weeks old. So he will enter into daycare at that time and I wanna make sure that I have a good stash. So I have a breastfeeding video for you guys coming out on Tuesday, which I'm pretty excited about. And I'm going to be like naming this one like surviving your first month breastfeeding baby, something along those lines. Kind of show you what I've, the products I've been using. Um, I get a lot of questions on my Haka pump and I will touch base on that. I did recently start pumping. Just this week I started pumping with my Spectra and I'm gonna touch base on that as well all the breastfeeding things. So if you guys have breastfeeding questions, make sure you leave them down below. I will be um, doing a Q&A on my Instagram too, and that will, um, I'm gonna post one tonight, and tonight is, it's Saturday today. So I will be posting a Q&A tonight for you guys, which by the time you guys are seeing this video, um, it may or may not be too late for you to hop in on that Q&A. If that does happen, um, I will repost again on Sunday afternoon for more Q&A on the breastfeeding because that is probably the subject that I get the most questions on. So I do wanna dedicate an entire video to it for you guys to be as informative as possible. Okay, so just in general, breastfeeding has been going really well. I am getting to the point where I feel like I'm kind of a human cow but I also really enjoy that bonding experience with my son. There's nothing quite like sitting down with him and just nursing all day long. As exhausting as it is, it is very much so a discipline. You have to discipline yourself. It is definitely discipline, um, learning to breastfeed and um, keeping up with it. Trust me, there's been many times where I've thought, oh, formula would be so much easier. Again, fed it is best, but Breastfeeding definitely takes some extra discipline. Um, again, I breastfed and formula fed my daughter, so I am pro for both. Just this time, I wanted to see how far I could make it with breastfeeding, especially since it's cold and flu season. During cold and flu season, it makes me feel better if I'm breastfeeding, so he has all of my immunities as well. It has been a journey. It's been a beautiful journey, but it is definitely difficult. Props to all you mamas out there who have made it 12 months and beyond. I have made it one month in and I am tired. And you know what? 
that's okay to be tired mamas like that is okay i feel like i feel like it's like a mom guilt thing but so many times where i hear oh like this breastfeeding thing is so hard or you know oh him him her waking up in the middle of the night so hard but you can see the hesitation in those mama's eyes when they're complaining about all of these things but it's okay girl it is okay don't be too hard on yourself yes this is all so hard and it's okay to admit that it's all so hard but don't get too hard on yourself okay don't get too hard on yourself that is my biggest advice when it comes to being postpartum is just don't be too hard on yourself be gentle on yourself it took you almost a year to make that baby so it's gonna take you some time to get back into your old body i need to remember this as well i'm very guilty of this just remind yourself that I took a long time to make that baby and it's going to take you a long time to get back into the swing of things. So let's talk postpartum weight loss, postpartum body updates. So I'm actually below my pre-pregnancy weight at this point, which um, for me anyways, I've always been like a curvier girl, just always been curvier. I've had some hips on me, <laughs> love handles my entire life before I got pregnant. With my son this time, I was on a weight loss um, journey to lose the rest of that extra fluff that I had gained with Kaya, and I was pretty much there, but there was also this like cushion weight um, that I really, I wanted to hit. It was like below what I even I got married at. It's just, I have this ultimate weight goal in my head, and right now I'm well on my way, but I have quite a bit left to lose. So after having Riker, I um, immediately lost all like 42, 44 pounds of weight that I had gained with him. I automatically lost all of that within the first like two and a half weeks. And with breastfeeding and eating healthier for these past three weeks, I've honestly been eating pretty healthy. Um, and just this past week, I've cut out dairy and uh, gluten just to try and work on some tummy sensitivities that he has been experiencing. Um, but just with those things in combination, I've lost just about 51 pounds total, which is crazy. Again, so I'm like technically under my pre-pregnancy weight, but I do still have quite a bit left to lose before I'm at my ultimate goal weight. So I invite you guys to come along and like watch me go through the rest of this weight loss, this postpartum weight loss series. I will be having like a video every other week dedicated solely to that, whether it be like what I eat in a day, um, like weight loss update, like how much weight I've lost. I haven't really decided how I want to format that yet. So if you guys do have suggestions as to like how you would want to watch that, whether it be like weekly weigh-ins or like bi-weekly weigh-ins or um, like body progress once a month, let me know. So definitely something I want to share with you guys um, as to how I'm losing the weight with really yummy, healthy, good food and breastfeeding and working out, just like all of these areas. But if you have, again, suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I want to make sure that I'm documenting that series in a way that you guys want to see it. All right, next subject, mental health. How am I doing postpartum mentally, hormonally, if you will? I have had quite the experience this time. I'm not, I wouldn't say it's postpartum depression, maybe postpartum anxiety is the best way for me to describe it. I have been very anxious um, to leave the house. I'm very scared to leave the house. And I'm very nervous having people over. I'm so overprotective and I even laugh at myself. I'm a second time mom. I feel like I should know better, but it's cold and flu season and influenza was going around when he was first born. And the doctors kind of scared me and told me to keep him inside for the first month. So just all of these things going on. And even now that he's a month old, it's still like freaking snowing hard outside, eight to 12 inches as I'm speaking, snowing outside. Thank you, Minnesota. Just because it's like still winter outside, um, I feel like the cold and flu season has kind of been extended now as well. So going in public, I just get so anxious. You guys, I go through like so much hand sanitizer. It's embarrassing, it's embarrassing. I have an entire bottle, not just like a travel size bottle of hand sanitizer with me. I mean, I'm bringing the whole dang hand sani with me to Costco to, to I haven't even had, the courage to go to Target yet because I just feel like it's so full of germs, which is bizarre to me. I haven't been to Target in a month. That is weird, weird, weird. 
Um, I would definitely consider that some sort of like postpartum anxiety. Um, this whole like germ a phobe phase I've been going through. <laughs> it's been kind of tough, but I'm working through it. Um, another thing that I've noticed is just like sometimes I'm just off where like controlling my <laughs> controlling my emotions can get kind of hard. So I I will be a roller coaster some days where I'm really happy and really sad and then I feel very stressed out or just I'm all over the place. For the most part, I'm pretty stable, I'm pretty fine, but it's just some days I feel like I can't get myself together. But again, that's totally fine, it's okay, it's to be expected. Again, this is all normal stuff, this is okay. Everybody experiences uh, postpartum differently. Um, with my daughter Kaya, I really just, I felt so lonely. That was the biggest thing that I experienced postpartum was um, loneliness with Kaya. But this time around, it's just been more so like, I just can't get enough things done in a day and I feel like I'm running behind in every area of my life and I'm just like struggling to catch up but I think it's just a normal like second time mom thing so I'm getting the hang of it. Overall I feel so much better than I did at the end of my pregnancy you guys. When they tell you that get your sleep now because when the baby comes don't listen to that. I feel 10 million times better than I did at the end of my pregnancy. I'm so happy not to be pregnant anymore, but I'm also a little bit sad because I want all the babies now because Riker is such a good baby. Kaya was such a good baby as well. It just makes me want to have like 5 million more, but remember guys, these little babies turn into mouthy little toddlers that make you want to pull your hair out. You love them, but holy cow. The patience is tested. The patience is tested. Okay, so this last portion of the video I want to dedicate to just a Riker update. Baby update. He's not with me in the room right now, but I'm going to show you guys some clips of him at one month old and how alert he is and how awake he is. He's awake so much more during the day now and he has like very specific naps that he takes. He'll take like a two, three hour nap in the morning two, three hour nap in the afternoon, and then he's usually awake in between those times. And he loves to nurse, he loves to eat. <laughs> um, we've been incorporating the bottle a little bit more. Um, we are trying out some different bottles so that I can include like what our essentials are. Um, I do have a newborn essentials video coming out for you guys as well. I have so many videos coming out very soon for you, but newborn essentials is one of them. He's cooing, he's smiling. I'll see if I can get some of that on camera for you guys too tonight so that I can include it in this video. My most favorite thing is to swaddle him up all real tight and then his just his like chubby cheeks are sticking out he's got this like fuzzy hair and a little passy in his mouth. He looks like a little chubby worm. It's so cute. It's my favorite. One product I did want to mention in this video is the Soli Soli Baby Wrap. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. It's just um, one long piece of fabric and you wrap it around your body. I'll leave a link for them down below. Um, also a link up here for my What's in My Diaper Bag video because I did mention this thing um, in that video too. But this has been a lifesaver for me. I will wear this around the house all the time with Riker. He loves to be like on my chest. He loves to be near me. He just loves when I smooch his little face. He he just, he loves his mama and he loves to be right here. So having that wrap so that I can work from home because I do work from home almost full time right now. Even though I'm on maternity leave, um, I am still working from home. And so having that wrap so that I can just have them on me, have my hands free, so that I can be typing. It's been amazing, absolutely amazing. So I'll make sure that I have this link down below for you guys. This is not sponsored, this has just been like one of my number one products, and I had it sitting right here, so I figured I would just grab it and show you guys. Um, I would say my number two product during this month has been Swaddles. Copper Pearl and then the Swaddle Me Like Swaddle Sacks have been our absolute favorites. But, um, so just kind of like a sneak peek as to what our newborn essentials are. Those two things have definitely gotten us through this first month with baby Riker. Just in general, it's been amazing. He's such a good baby, you guys. So Riker's stats. When we brought Riker in for, for his two week appointment, he was nine pounds, four ounces. With the whole like weight conundrum that we went through when he was first born, 
that kind of pointed us to um, believe that he was not seven pounds, 10 ounces when he was born. He was more than likely about eight and a half pounds when he was born. So when we left the hospital, he was eight pounds, three ounces, and he was born at seven pounds, 10 ounces. But again, we put the puzzle pieces together and we believe that he was more so like eight and a half pounds. So again, he was like nine pounds, four ounces at two weeks. So at two weeks, he was nine pounds, four ounces, 22 inches long. He's a long little guy. Um, and I would say now, like I kind of like put him on the food scale last week just to see how much he was weighing. And it was like about 11-ish pounds, like 11 to 12 pounds, I would say. Definitely by this week, I would say 12 pounds. So. I don't have exact stats as of now. I will update you guys in his two month update and my two month postpartum update what he is looking like as far as weight. But yeah, he is just starting to chunk up those little cheeks and again, my favorite when I like swaddle him up like a little caterpillar worm in his swaddle, chubby cheeks. Oh, guys, my favorite. I'll show you what I mean tonight. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, I'm gonna leave you with a quick um, postpartum belly shot and um, some clips of Riker here at one month old. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed my postpartum updates and I hope that you're looking forward to the series that I have planned for you, the postpartum weight loss, the breastfeeding, and like some of the essential videos like the newborn essentials and um, some of the style videos I got coming for you. Oh, all the goodness. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video and I will see you guys on Thursday or Friday this week for another really fun video. Okay, bye you guys. All right, you guys, this is one month postpartum. So you can see I kind of have just like a little bit of like baby pooch here, just like a little belly. I don't think it'll ever be completely flat again. But um, yeah, it's just like a little bit of skin here that just hangs out. It's gonna be a permanent resident, I feel. But but yeah, overall, I am pretty happy with my results after one month. Oop, always gonna have this baby skin. Um, but like I said, I am pretty impressed. I've lost all of the water weight off of my legs. I finally have my legs back. And yeah, just feeling a lot more like myself these days. And I'm definitely ready to get back in the gym. But yeah, one month postpartum. Feeling pretty good. <laughs> you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. So stuck, I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you... What are you doing? What do you see? Yeah? What do you see up there? And I think to myself And I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side